Hi, Ernie Young with Rosenbauer America. I wanted to introduce you to our Warrior Cab. This cab is 96 inches wide, giving you a little narrower profile for those tight urban areas or even the rural areas that require the ability to get down to two track in some of those narrower neighborhoods, thinking kind of the urban interface type area. One of the primary things that we did when we engineered the Warrior Cab was number one, considered the firefighter safety. So building in crash resistance into our cabs was first and foremost. The extrusions that we use, the extruded aluminum pillars going all the way from the floor pan all the way to the ceiling in the front, in the middle, in the rear, and then tying that all together and putting a 3 skin on it makes this the strongest cab in the industry, bar none. 120,000 pound crush test, far exceeding NFPA requirements. And what that allows us to do is put you out there in the field, in the uncertainties of what's going on out there and knowing that your firefighters are safe inside these cabs, okay? The roofs will not separate during a rollover incident. In fact, during the crash testing, we have shown that these cabs stand up and have survived all of our crash test ratings on a single cab. It is a very strong cab. It gives us that strong foundation that you need for your apparatus. The stronger the foundation, the better the end product. And with the Rosenbauer Warrior, you get it all packaged into a nice 96 inch wide cab. So as we move into the process with the Warrior, some of the things that we do is we add our sound deadening material, our insulation that makes our cabs some of the quietest in the industry. Most of the guys when I'm out there in the field and get, they get their first chance to drive a Warrior, they often comment about how quiet it is and they mention that well, heck you probably don't even need uh, the ear systems while you're out there so building things up from the ground next step sound deadening insulation and some of our coatings and coverings all right so now that we're underneath the cab i want to point out some things that most of you are probably familiar with but if you're not some of the unique features under here are this nine degree offset on the steering box what that does is it lines up the shaft going up to the steering wheel and keeps it in line. It requires less bolts going between it. And what that causes is a smooth transition from the input and the feedback. It makes it easier to control the truck. You don't have any slop in the steering wheel because of this. And it's very unique to the Rosenbauer chassis. But right behind me, when we get to the back of the engine here, which is the, of course, 12 liter Cummins, we have our belly band, and that belly band holds the frame rails together. What it does is it allows us, for one thing, to put the engine transmission set a little lower between the frame rails. That's what gives us our extra room up top when you're talking about that engine tunnel and giving us the extra hip room. But it also serves to keep these frame rails tighter together so that you don't have wash between the frame rails. It keeps the front end a little stiffer and allows you to have better control of the vehicle while you're driving. So it is an extreme safety feature, but also acts as something that allows us to give a little bit more comfort to the driver and officer on the inside of the cab. So when we're talking about frame rails underneath, uh, just remember, we have offered the painted, we offered galvanized, and we offered powder coated. Highly recommended to go with the galvanized. It takes care of any of the road treatments, things like that. Uh, remember, we pre-drill all of our frame rails and we galvanize all of our bolts and nuts so that way you don't have any worries about any corrosion building on the bolt holes later on. Moving over to the battery boxes, generally we do these in a galvanized set as well and we use these magnetic holders so it makes it really easy to access the batteries. Very strong magnets, keeps it nice and, and tight when you're not in use. So with the Warrior, you get a couple of different cab heights. You got the flat roof, you got the eight inch roof, 54 inch cab, all the way back to a 70 inch cab. And if you go with the two door version, you get a 33 inch cab. So you can use the Warrior for a number of different applications from custom tenders, rescues, pumpers. Uh, those will all fit within the realm of the Warrior itself. Um, we'll look at the inside in a few minutes, but uh, some of the other options you have are quite a number of different bumper extensions. So you can add bumper turrets, uh, trash lines, room for rescue tools, things like that. So your front bumper options are pretty much unlimited. 
Uh, you can really fit this to customize the department. So as you notice, we have a single piece windshield. It makes it really easy to replace. It's a common manufacturer, so being able to get it in the local community is relatively easy. We also do heated options for those areas that experience cold weather, uh, fogging, things like that. And then, of course, the three wiper design that goes bank to bank really keeps the windshield clean. So when you move into the cab of the Warrior, you're going to experience some wider hip room. That's what lowering the engine between the frame rail and getting this lower uh, tunnel in here, it's going to give you a lot more room. This aluminum dash puts everything at your fingertips. We have the option for both the analog or a digital dash, adjustable steering wheel. Lots of options up top, so we can add the fans up here if you've got that problem with fogging, defrosting, things like that. A lot of interior lighting options and a lot of safety options that are built in so when the doors open, we can have some lighting systems that come on. So when the men and women of the fire service are operating, we're keeping them as safe as possible, giving them full functionality and the ability to arrive and get back home safely. So the interior of the word cab, you're gonna have a number of options available to you, both in how your switches are set up or the LCS system. So you have the miniature LCS system in here now. For this truck in particular, it's gonna give you the ability to start to pump, pump them in the cab, do a lot of your functions and controls uh, for other pumpers, rescues, tenders, things like that. Being able to add the full-size LCS screen to it is gonna give you control of all the functions of the truck. Uh, depending on how you spec this. So all the information is right here, being able to access things for the officer that you want to have access to, the driver that you want to have access to. This truck in particular comes with a bumper turret so the control is inside uh, as this truck is set up for pump and roll. You can also add things like the clean air system. So we're talking about keeping some of the bad actors that are out there, boxing from your gear, things like that. So we keep the environment as clean as possible, again, looking at the long-term safety of the firefighters, but being able to add not only safety, but functionality. Um, this cab is set up to accomplish anything you need on a nice 96-inch wide platform. So where you're looking for that narrow body truck, 96 inches, the Warrior is going to be able to fit your applications. You're going to be able to do pumpers, tenders, rescues, wildland trucks, four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive options. It's limitless. Talk to your dealer, let's find out what fits you, and let's look at the Warrior as your cab of choice.